Well, good morning to you all. And it is morning here in uh, the Florida Keys of uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Only this isn't an airplane. This is a fishing trawling vessel that I'm uh, driving off of uh, an island off of the Florida Keys. This is a scenery pack that comes with the Key West International Airport. And it uh, it extends all the way out to the Dry Tortugas and and uh, some other islands here with this beautiful lighthouse. But what's amazing now is uh, we're actually driving a, a, a vessel, a ship, and here we are with the uh, container ship. And I think this is absolutely uh, wonderful. Uh, I like to say we have the potential now to have uh, ships in Microsoft Flight Simulator all over the planet. But the truth is, we not only have the potential, we have the capabilities. Look at this uh, beautiful uh, craft. And it's not static. Um, if you go to flightsim.to, flightsim.to, and look for uh, controllable ships... Uh, I think it's Rodrigo had uh, taken some of these static ships, quite a number of them. I'm only going to show an example of a few of them here. Uh, but taken quite a number of these ships and made them controllable. <laughs> it's absolutely wonderful. Here I am uh, pulling into Pearl Harbor with this container ship. And we are uh, trucking along here at a few knots. I'm not quite sure... Uh, how many knots we're moving you know I would guess around 10 knots or so uh, you can take a look at your airspeed but that's uh, not quite the, the same as uh, speed over ground so um, some of the things that would be interesting we could do with this here I am uh, having saved this particular ship in the, the uh, Hawaiian port here um, this being more like a tug type of utility vessel and I'm going to just go ahead and back it up and take it right on out of here yeah this is the capabilities we have now in Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, what we need is uh, some developers to start developing ships with cockpits now this is the cockpit view and I can see you can see that the there is an airspeed, but that that's based on the you know wind factor, and, and uh, you know it doesn't give you the actual movement over ground. Um, but yeah, if we could start having developers develop ships with uh, good good looking cockpits and and uh, maybe some of the uh, more pertinent uh, you know uh, information. Uh, here we have uh, you know. Uh, we have the trim and the, the, the flaps, but uh, we could use rudder trim uh, for sure. I'm loving this. This is a, There's a whole slew of ships that you can download that you can do this with. This is one of my favorite right here. Uh, this trawler. I'm, I'm not trawler. This is uh, kind of a tug. Yeah. Um, for... Uh, uh, well, let's see, uh, version uh, 7, the seven, uh, update number 7, uh, this does work, uh, however the config files uh, need a little bit of tweaking, uh, if you look at the controllable ship download there is a um, comment section and one of the fellows in the comments had uh, put a, a config file uh, replacement uh, lines to make it work in update 7 and that's what I'm using so you'll need not only to download uh, the controllable ship uh, which comes with a whole slew I don't know at least a dozen or more of ships but uh, go ahead and get that config file uh, that is in the comment section that somebody had uh, posted but it's fantastic I I'm, I'm loving this um, over the uh, the Thanksgiving holiday here in America. Uh, I, 
I was thinking about uh, some of my old ship simulations and I had virtual sailor and then that became a vehicle sailor, um, vehicle I think, simulator and then uh, you know I got sail away sail away is a fabulous uh, simulation it's all over planet earth uh, you can sail a sailboat and control all the sails you know uh, and and it's it's really great uh, but as far as the physics of the boats and the sailing and, and you know it's fabulous but what i was disappointed in uh really is that in in uh, sail away uh, even though you can plot your boat down anywhere on the planet and go ahead and sail the the graphics the land graphics uh were you know like from 1990 or something like that you know when you got close to land there's no trees or anything it's just kind of a flat map kind of with uh, you know 24 bit color type of thing and not even that many <laughs> colors <laughs> and it's all flat and then and then it uh, auto randomly generates buildings and like in the florida keys um you know it would generate these uh, high-rise buildings where you don't have high-rises in, in on those islands you know you may have one or two on some of the bigger islands but for the most part it, it was it's ridiculous and i thought man you know where else can we have the whole planet earth and all of the ports and the buildings and, and all the trees and stuff <laughs> i was thinking microsoft flight simulator i wonder if anybody put out uh you know, a, a means to control ships, and sure enough, uh, this fellow uh, Rodrigo did. And um, uh, I, I'm absolutely uh, ecstatic over it. I'm, I'm loving this. Yeah, uh, there's still some work that can be done. Uh, we have the capabilities now. I mean, with float planes, that you you know you can have particle physics. You have um, the uh, you know, on the float planes, you have uh, smoke coming out of the uh, exhaust pipes, and we could have that. You know, uh, particle physics and exhaust coming out of the uh, out of the stacks on these ships for sure. Uh, once a developer gets a hold of the idea that they can they can build ships and put them in here, uh, these here uh, Rodrigo had put in two propellers. I'm sure that if I had spent a little time, and I will. Uh, see if I can get uh, both propellers working independently um, and see if that makes any difference in controlling the ship but uh, you know as you can see I have no tr trouble steering it or anything like that anyway uh, but it would be fun to be able to to, to use two throttles and, and, uh, and have a reverse throttle too um, you know uh, right now I'm just using the pushback function uh, and flight simulator to uh, push the ships backwards when, when we need be. Uh, but it is it, it is definitely workable. It's, it, it's doing a, a fabulous job. We have the beautiful island of Hawaii here. And I'm just uh, ecstatic over this. <clears throat> here, uh, one of the things you can do is you can go into general options and take photogrammetry and turn it off. Uh, if need be, you know, uh, see how, how it looks. We're going to be up close and personal, uh, unlike when you're flying around up above and looking down. Uh, with, uh, with ships, you're up close and personal to the, to the trees and the, the buildings and the islands. And uh, sometimes the photogrammetry uh, morphs uh, some of the, the real elements and, and stretches them out. And so if that's the case, just turn that off and you'll have a beautiful... Uh, you know um, scenery as you get close to uh, to objects this is how it's done basically uh, you select your your uh, your place over the water somewhere uh, and then select your ship you can see the number of different ships I don't even have them all packed in here just yet and then you go ahead and say fly and uh, you know once you do uh, you'll find yourself about uh, 1500 feet above the water and what I do is I'll say ready to fly go ahead and click that and then hit the Y key that's the slew mode for Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator uh, that's the default slew mode is the Y key uh, if you may have changed that but uh, go ahead and do that and then you can uh, I use the Xbox controller really when I'm in slew mode and, and then take it on down to the water 
if your ship starts to sink or act funny, just hit the Y key a couple times and, until it pops back into shape. Sometimes uh, you have to let it uh, sit for a minute and uh, give it a moment to, to pop back to level surface. After changing the config files, uh, I no longer had uh, too many difficulties with the ships uh, floating uh, the way they should. This is an absolutely gorgeous uh, ship. I mean, the, the the three D modeling on this and the uh, the detail is is fabulous. Um, of course, it's a sailing ship, uh, and that's the one part of the uh, that that we don't have in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Is you you can't put sails up and down and and realistically uh, go with the wind. I don't know if that's going to be a, a potential that could happen in the future. I have no idea if that's even a possibility. Um, but uh, right now these are fixed sails but they look beautiful and, and and of course you can you are in a sense motoring it now you can tell I, I had I had changed the sound files um, I went ahead and, and downloaded my own sound files and then uh, I put them in the sound folder for each one of these uh, vessels so each one sounds a little different and, and, uh, and you know that's easy enough to do so, uh, yeah, gorgeous ship. I mean, you know, uh, I'm working it off of the throttle and not actually off the wind. But there's another beautiful ship that is uh, kind of a river ship, uh, kind of an old-style steamer type of thing. And uh, what I like to do is go ahead and change the wind on the ground level, pump it up to, you know, between 5 and 10. And, you know, for the ocean, I give it up to above, maybe around 10 or more. And then on the rivers, around 5. Gives you better water effects. So, in this case, we're just giving you some examples around the world. How we already have all these, <laughs> all the scenery that you can possibly want for, the, for these vessels. You know, it's just a matter of, of developers coming up with more vessels like this uh, that we can operate. And of course, being in London, uh, I go ahead and, and throw in some precipitation and some overcast, and and uh, you know, and have fun on, on the river here. But th there's so much uh, we can do now, and and it's it's to me it's quite a joy because you get to see these scenic areas uh, more up close and personal than when you're flying above and. You, it's a slower, slower roll for sure. Um, yeah, and let's go ahead and let's try some uh, kind of like night scenery too, and see the city, city lights. So let's go ahead and uh, pop that into the early morning hours turn the lights on yeah I, I'm having a, a, a blast with this you know uh, obviously you know if you're moving at 20 knots or something like that it, it'll take you forever to you know go over open ocean uh, here I am plopping down off of New York City off of Manhattan Brooklyn Bridge back there and uh, if you're wondering, that ship actually, I sailed it underneath the Brooklyn Bridge. It just squeezes under and, 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 and actually uh, it does touch. <laughs> but it did make it a, a, a underneath and I went up a little further north to the Manhattan Bridge. Uh, you can see back behind it. Um, but yeah, make, make the adjustment on the water again. Crank that up to five knots or so and, you know change the time of day give it some lighting effect kind of get a feel for different ports so just see you, you can see uh, how wonderful this can be if, if you're interested in uh, in sailing vessels and uh, ships and I, I like the uh, tugs and, and the utility vessels myself um, container ships were beautiful I mean you can if you want to get into over the open water because like I said 20 knots it take you forever to get anywhere but 
uh, certainly uh, putzing around uh, some beautiful harbors and uh, it would be a great fun for sure and something you can do now we have the capability of doing it and as well as if you did have patience in like uh, what I did with the Florida Keys and, you know and you can move around from island to island get into the Caribbean islands which are not that so not so far separated that you know you can it may take you an hour or two to get from one island to another but uh, you know some of you guys are flying across the world in airplanes it takes several hours to do so it depends on what you're like and your patience I suppose but yeah I, I love this uh, this uh, tall ship here so kind of showing it off a little bit through uh, lower Manhattan Ah, but you know what are the limitations? Uh, uh, so that we have with uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, what? And I think some of the limitations can be overcome. Like we, we, if you get developers who are developing airplanes and, and, and they have those skills, I don't have those skills. But if you got somebody who had the skills to to build ships like this and then build a a, 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 a cockpit that uh, gave us things like uh, rudder trim as well as uh, a course over, uh, you know, speed over ground and, you know, that kind of a thing. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we don't really have, we have the beautiful scenery like you see here, but we don't have the infrastructure for ships. In other words, uh, as, you know, as I pull out of these harbors and stuff, if I try to dock, I'm, I'm docking along some flat texture uh, with no uh, no boardwalk or uh, uh, or uh, boat docks or you know uh, uh, war <laughs> what am I trying to say you know without the uh, the uh, the walls you know the seawall and here I am uh, back in another utility ship in uh, coming into Miami Harbor and how beautiful this is I mean you can go ahead and, and try this out anywhere in the world there's so many places to to explore on this level yeah, so some of the things that, we, that you know, we don't have channel markers, and uh, but we do have lighthouses, as you can see when I opened up this video. Uh, but we could have more lighthouses, we could have channel markers put in. We don't really have depth, uh, uh, you know, um, it'd be nice to have a depth gauge, but I don't know, uh, that, that would be uh, something that I think Microsoft would have to handle, not just some uh, third-party developer as far as putting in uh, channels and things that have depth to them and, and uh, so we don't have that but it's still fun I mean you know I don't really have to worry about walk up having a boat uh, hit a sandbar or something like that but that'd be great if uh, that was something that could be done in the future but you know that's kind of on the wish list basically though uh, I, it is doable to have somebody develop uh, ships with the, the cockpits and you know more uh, particle physics and wake and you know water spray off the bow that stuff is doable now it's also doable now that we can have people build scenery package with infrastructure uh, such as sea walls and the docks and something more substantial for for the harbors so a lot to look forward to and it's been my pleasure to uh, spend time and show this off to you